Thousands of people come to California to, well, check us out. Some people, some people come here to learn. And we found a school in Rancho Palos Verdes that welcomes students from Norway and Korea. Come with me as we check out this school. We're talking with uh, Patricia Meyer, the principal of Christ Lutheran Church and School. The fact that you have uh, students from uh, Norway and Korea, that's kind of an innovative uh, idea. It's, it's a very great opportunity because I personally grew up overseas and knew what it was like to expand my perspective of the world by meeting people from other cultures. And we wanted to make sure that the students at Christ Lutheran had that same experience. What sort of things do you think uh, are the benefits of this cross-country or inter-country uh, operation? It's an understanding of a different worldview and to know that things are different than they are in the United States and opportunities can be different and there's a different outlook on things, but deep underneath, we're all the same. We want the same things and we can cooperate together. How do you do this? I mean, do you have someone that you work with that picks out students? I mean, do you have more students apply than actually can come here? We, uh, our Korean students go through a third party consulting company and we actually have an arrangement with Naju City over in South Korea and they select the students and then bring them over. That's been going on for the last two years in addition to private students that come from Seoul and other places. And with our Norwegian students we're very lucky to have a partnership with the Norwegian Fisherman's Chapel. Wow. So, yeah, so the people who come in... Is that the one in San Pedro? It is, right down over by the water in San Pedro. So all of their church workers, they send their children to school here and they, they develop some of the best relationships. In fact, one got reposted back to Norway, but our eighth grade trip is always to Washington, D.C., and he'll be meeting us in D.C. to have that experience with his friends. Given all the places uh, that they can go to in the United States and here in California, what do you think makes them choose this particular school? I think that they love the fact that there are rigorous academics, but more than that, we educate the whole child, and we have a very caring staff and a caring community. Coming to Christ Lutheran is coming home. We want that to be that third place. You know your children are safe, they're well looked after, and we try and bring out the best in children, what they already know they can do, and what they don't yet know they're good at. Having said that, give me a brief, quick overview of the school in general. Sure thing. We are a school that's been here since the 50s. Uh, we have preschool through eighth grade. It's a rigorous academic um, program. All of our children score above grade level on all standardized tests. Above? Above every single Ooh. grade level. And we make sure that we not only test them once a year, but we test them every month to make sure that they're maintaining that progress. But in addition to that, we talk a lot about character development, about putting your service to good use, uh, making sure that you are salt and light in the community and that you leave the world a better place than the way you found it. We're talking with Mrs. Ginny Mondragon. She is actually a legend in her own lifetime, if I may say that. She has been here for, will you tell our viewers? I've been here for 54 years. I started school at the age of six here and I keep coming back to fourth grade year after year. So this is my 31st year of teaching in the Lutheran schools here. What is your actual involvement with these children from uh, Norway and Korea? These students right now, I, they are accustomed into my classroom and they are doing the, basically the exact same thing my regular fourth graders are doing. What are your feelings about talking to and instructing, I guess, kids from a foreign country? It's, it's, it's very beneficial because you can see that our students will go out of their way to help them and they kind of teach them their, their nationality and we give them a taste of what it's like to be in America, like we're going to have a Valentine's party, which the Koreans, I don't think, do too much of that. So there's a lot of sort of interactivity and learning about each other. Very much so. There's a map behind us that says brothers across the nation. I guess that really expresses uh, the sort of, you know, operation and the, and the thinking here. Yes, it is. And this each one of these represents the different nationalities all the way across the United States here and far over in, in the world. <laughs> We're talking with Oleg, one of the students here from Norway. So first of all, tell us how old you are and how long you've been in this country. 
I'm nine years old, and I've been here since 2010. When you came here, did you speak English? Not much, just a little bit. And how was it learning? It was difficult, but I got the hang of it. What kind of things have you learned when you've come to this school in the time you've been here? I've learned that when you come to a new place, it doesn't matter where it is, you all, you'll always find friends. What are some of the things that you have learned at this school? Um, I learned math again, and then social study, gold rush, and I learned English. Is it a lot different from Korean schools? Yes. In what way? Um, Korean has many homework, and uh, Korean has hard. Do you think you'll come back here again? Sure. American is different than uh, Korea because American is kind people and good and big and I like school. You so, like school? Yes. That's terrific. We're talking this time with an American student. Christopher, um, how have you found it when you've been playing and interacting with these foreign students from another country? Um, it's kind of fun. Two of them are my best friends, and it's different, but I think it's better. Two of them are your best friends. That's really interesting. I mean, did you imagine when you came to this school that you would be best friends with kids from another country? No. What about the, the children you're friends with? Are they from Korea or Norway or both? Uh, the two Norwegian kids. And do you speak Norwegian? No. <laughs> What about learning Norwegian? I mean, when you've talked to your friend from Norway, does it sound like a very strange language? Uh, not really. It's kind of, it's different, really different. But I think it won't be that hard to learn. I'm talking to two uh, lovely young ladies here called Stephanie and Terry. And Terry. And they are, as I understand, host families for some of these students. Tell us a little bit about how it is to, I guess you have them in your home? Yes, I have one student and she's 12 years old. She's a girl. And I also have three daughters of my own, so. And how is it, how is it actually hosting them? I mean, was there a, ra a language problem at first? Actually, the student that we had was very fluent in English, so she was fine at the beginning. She was a little bit shy, but then once she got to know the family, she opened up a little bit more. What sort of impact has it had on you in being, um, I guess, exposed to people, foreign students? I think it's been wonderful. We've had, um, we've learned a lot about the culture of Korea and we've learned a lot about the different students and what they like to do for fun, what they do academically there and the differences that they have. This is our third year of hosting families. You must love it. We do. My husband and I are both educators, so we find it very important to share that knowledge with our son. And we have right now a, uh, a girl and a boy. We always try to plan something on the weekend to show them something interesting about where we live. This has been a wonderful learning experience for you? Fabulous, and we look forward to any time we can get a new student from anywhere. So tell us, what is your involvement in this program? Well, uh, me and my wife, we work for the Norwegian Siemens Church down here in San Pedro, been here for more than 70 years and we have three children here at school. What sort of benefits do you see for these kind of programs? Well, uh, for me and my wife, it was important to, uh, when, we, when we decided to go out here, to, to, sh to let our kids see more of the world and to come here to LA with this international community that is here in LA uh, and to come to Christ Lutheran, which also we think is a, uh, has a very international uh, community. So we're talking with a young man called Peter Gregg. Peter, tell me, what are some of the things when you do school here? Uh, well, I do um, um, gym and music class. Do you like music class? Now, I see that some of the children here bring their lunch uh, in lunch boxes. Do you have a lunch box? But what about, I heard some kids say that every day they bring the lunch, but on Fridays there is something special. What is happening on Friday? Uh, pizza day. And so you don't have, you have pizza on, on Friday? What are some of the things that you like about this school? Well, I like about it that I, I go on the playground. And you play with children? 
And you play with children from other countries sometime? Okay. Thank you, Peter. We're talking to two very important Korean people, uh, Charles here and his glamorous wife. And you are involved in this program how? Uh, we were referred from another school's pr uh, principal to a Christ Lutheran school. And uh, we had a meeting uh, three, four years ago. And uh, it helped, uh, Mrs. Mayor thought that it would help uh, great for the school community. And it will also help uh, Korean students to come here and to learn. So that's why we began to have uh, these kind of programs at the Christ Lutheran school. So you actually looked around for a school and then you picked this one? Yes, I did. Was that an interesting sort of challenging search? Yes, because uh, um, you know all, all the schools have uh, different expectations from the school, uh, from the student from Korea, so we have to explain what we want from, uh, from the school and uh, uh, what we are, uh, can offer for the stu uh, school and the students here. <laughs> There we have it. We come to the end of another armchair traveler, this time taking you to uh, Norway and uh, Korea by way of the students here. So until next time, uh, thank you for watching. This is John Clayton, armchair traveler. Oh, I've got to get back to my studies.